Greetings, JK Living Yogis. It is Kirshen, and we are going to have a little mini yoga practice. Get you yogis moving um, and uh, get some prana flowing. These are strange times, and we really want to keep our um, center, keep ourselves relaxed and calm and um, tranquil. And so we're going to start with a couple sun salutes, half salutes. And then we're going to drop down and do some uh, pranayama, some breathing techniques, okay? So from here, standing nice and tall, um, you can be on carpet, rag the floor, your choice, toes touching, release your hands to your side, standing in Tadasan, centering, perhaps set an intention or a dedication of this mini yoga. So from here, we're going to reach the arms up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to your shins. You're going to lift your chest up, not your chin. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way to standing. Reach up, stretch back. Find that beautiful back bend and wrap your hands into Anahata, our heart chakra. Inhale, arms rise up. Two more. Exhale and fold. Inhale, hands to the shins. Lift your chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, sweep the arms. Exhale, hands wrap in. Breathing in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to the shins, chest out. Exhale, drop in. Inhale, rise up, strong legs lift you. Exhale, wrap your hands to center. Good, we're going to do a little tree pose from here. Right leg is going to lift up, so you draw that right heel and place that foot on the inner thigh, above or below your knee, not right at the knee. You're going to bring your hands to the center, thumbs touching your heart chakra and lightly tapping all into that loving kindness, which we need a lot of right now for ourselves and for the universe around us. So from here, we're going to simply stay here. Some of us, if your balance is a little off, sure like mine, you can lightly touch the wall or a door, and so that will help stabilize you. And then when you're ready, you can take your hand away. And then some of us will go up into a little more advanced version. Reach those arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands back down. And then slowly release the pose. Good. Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Good. And then you're going to set that left leg up above or below that knee. Wobbly teacher. From here, bring the hands to the center. Stabilize. Ground through the sole of that right foot. Lift your clavicle up. Relax your shoulders. And then from here, hands either remain and then reach them up. Breathing. Always be breathing. And then from here, bring the hands to the center. Inhale, and then exhale, release the leg down. We're gonna go into a quadricep stretch. So we're gonna take those arms up. Inhale, and as we exhale, float forward. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, you're gonna step your right leg back. Really step it back. So when you come up and place your hands on your knee, you notice your knee is right over your ankle, not in front of it. Drop your hips forward, flatten the back of your foot, and then you're gonna reach your arms up. Inhale, lengthen, hook your thumbs in, and try to draw those thumbs apart. From here, take the hands out to the sides, open up your chest, take a breath, Exhale, bring your hands down, curl the back toe, and then from here you're in a runner's lunge. Right hand comes down, left arm comes up, nice little twist, reach up. Exhale, both hands come down, you're going to step that back foot to the front foot, lift your chest out, inhale. Exhale, step your left leg way back. Drop that knee again from here. Reach your arms up and let your hips come forward. And then hook your thumbs in the other way. You're going to try to draw those thumbs apart. So we have a little bit of tension on those triceps, strengthening those muscles. And then from here, take the hands behind you. Open up your chest as the hips come forward. We're getting a little psoas stretch. A little quadricep. Release your hands down. Back knee lifting straight up, coming into that runner's lunge. 
Drop the left hand and take the twist as that right hand rises up. Inhale, exhale, both hands come down. Step that back foot to the front foot. Chest out, inhale, exhale. We're gonna come all the way down. So from here, we're gonna take a little moment. Hydrate, hydrate. We really need to stay hydrated with this virus going around, so it's really important to hydrate. So take a little hydration. Cheers. Good, from here, pranayama. So sit in a nice cross-legged pose anyway. If you can't sit with your feet crossed, you can just bring your legs out in front. There's always choices in yoga. So from here, we're gonna take a deep inhale and exhale fully. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders, but lengthen those side ribs. We're gonna go two, four, three, six, four, eight, five, ten. So the exhale will double the inhale. This is called pranayama. Prana, life force, ayama to extend. So by tapping into our breath, it helps to calm us down, increases our serotonin and our dopamine in our brain, which helps us to really become tranquil. So we're gonna start, take a deep inhale, exhale fully. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a beautiful breath in through your mouth. Exhale. A little twist. Right hand on the left knee, left hand comes behind. Take a twist to the left, close your eyes. Unwrap it, left hand to the right knee, right hand comes behind us, lift the chest up on the inhale. Take a twist to the right, close your eyes. Take one more breath, inhale, unwrap it, come back to neutral. We're gonna bring our hands into Anahata. We're gonna bow our heads with gratitude and loving kindness. We have the strength, the patience to slowly overcome what is going on right now on our planet. So, Shanti, Namaste.